Hey guys, welcome back for more Dragon Quest 11. So technically we lost last time and yeah, let's continue this one. Okay, I wonder what happened to us. Like the tree fell, right? And then it ended right there. And we, we ain't the luminary anymore. Oh, mom. Is this flashback? Ah, oh, it's a flashback. <sighs> What's the matter, dearie? Can't you sleep? <laughs> no, mum. You're still upset about your little fight with Gemma, eh? She started it. She hit me for no reason. All I did was draw eyebrows on Sandy. <laughs> Oi, don't laugh. Look at this great big lunch she's given me. I see it. And I saw the one on her head, too. You gave her that, didn't you? Yeah. Now you listen to me, my lad. There'll be plenty of times in your life when people upset you and you feel like lashing out. But no matter how much it hurts, and no matter how much you want to hurt them back, you don't go looking for revenge. You do what's right. I... I want to be friends with Jebra again, Mum. What should I do? Why, you talk to her, of course, you big silly. Ask her what she was feeling and why she did what she did. Try to see things from her point of view. Once you've done that, the rest is easy. You just smile and hold out your hand. Mm. That's my boy. Now, time for bed. Honestly, if they can talk like this, like, I wish you would night, talk. Night, night, yeah. Like, in the adult form. Night, night, son. Don't you worry about a thing now. It'll all be all right in the morning. Good night, sleep tight, child of Yggdrasil. The sun, it is sleeping, and the night is still. The stars, they watch over you with twinkling eyes to ward off the darkness till dawn arrives. Have you found him yet? Not yet, Master. Our forces have scoured the four corners of the world, but the Luminary is nowhere to be found. He is dead then. Good. If that is the case, then this world is mine. I mean, you took my powers away already, right? Oh! Queen. The Queen. What's her name again? Mordigan has played his Marina. hand. Marina. The game is all but won. A shroud of deepest darkness has eclipsed the shining sun. And yet, amid the shadows, glimmer tiny specks of light. Faint, flickering flames that rage against the coming of the night. How can such sparks of hope remain when darkness rules the land? Now evil reigns supreme. Who has the strength to take a stand? In search of hope.
Is this cobblestone? Oh, it's the world. Silvando. What? What happened? Where? Where am I? I'm alive, but how? <sighs> it's Dave. He found Sylph! me. Sylph! Oh, thank goodness you're all right. Sylph! Stay with me, Sylph! Come on. Oh, there you are. You all right, Sylph? Hmm? Oh, oh, sure, Davi, honey. I, I, I was just getting a little air. Being cooped up in that cabin was driving me crazy, you know? Oh, come on, Sylph. Cheer up, will ya? I don't think I can take much more of this moping. That day... When more they're gone, there was nothing I could do. He was just too powerful. I thought it was the end for me. For all of us. But this, this is worse than death. To wake up and find everybody gone. And the world consumed by darkness. <sighs> I'm sorry, Dave, but I just... I can't do this. I know I should feel lucky to be alive, but without the others... I'm nothing. Nobody. Right. That's enough of that. Huh? Have you lost your... Bleeding marbles. Since when were them mates of yours the types to let some Lord of Shadows numpty get the better of them, eh? How about you have a bit of bleeding faith in them like you used to? Or did you think saving the world was going to be easy or something? <sighs> oh, Dave, darling. You're right. <clears throat> If a slip of a thing like me was able to get out of that tangle with Mordagon alive, then the others must have done too. And here I am feeling sorry for myself instead of getting out there and trying to find them. What would Veronica and Eric say if they saw me like this? <laughs> That's more bleeding like it. It's good to have you back, me old mucker. <laughs> oh, it's good to be back, believe me. Now. Enough chit-chat. It's time for action. We need to make land at the nearest port and find out just how much of a mess the world is in. And once we've done that, we can make a start on fixing it. Sounds like a plan, Sylph. Nearest arbor to here would be over in Gondolia. I'll plot a course right away. That sounds just perfect, honey. Why did you go back Anchors to... Anchors away! Hoist the mainsail! Gondolia, here we come! Uh, Puerto Valor, right? <laughs> aye, aye, Captain. So are we gonna check, like, everyone like this? For example, Sylvain Dunel, then later the other characters. At least... Yeah, it's still not destroyed, it's okay. Speaking to the townspeople, but everyone is uh, down. Yeah, look, look at this. Turista. The Beastly Boys.
What do we have? Dragon Tail. How much money do it? 3,000. Okay, give me healing items. Utility belt. Strong medicine. Okay, yeah, let's talk. Let's go to the Dodge. Dodge's house. Maybe up there. Okay. Bad day? Hmm? Don't worry, honey. It happens to us all. Hmm? Oh. You're one of those minstrel types, are you? Look, if it's money you want, you'd better go and hassle someone else. I haven't got a penny to give you. Sorry, darling. No can do. It's against my policy to leave people all alone when they look as down in the dumps as you do. <sighs> look, why don't you just tell me what's on your mind? A problem shared is a problem half. Hmm? That's better. Now we can talk properly. Silvando, entertainer extraordinaire at your service. Mm hmm? Right. Well, my name's Tetsu. I'm a blacksmith from Hotto, though I haven't been back in a long old while. I'll tell you my story if you really want, but I'm warning you, it doesn't have a happy ending. After all those years away, I thought it was time for me to finally head home, see how my mother was doing, you know. But then the minute I set out on my journey, Yggdrasil fell. That just made me even more desperate to get back, of course. I was so worried about her. I managed to make it as far as Gondolia, but then my luck finally ran out. My luggage was stolen by a gang of thieves who've been terrorizing the town. The Beastly Boys, they call themselves. I can't make the journey to Hotto without all my things. Especially not the lilies of the valley I brought for my mother. They're her favorite flower. I wanted to give them to her to say, well, to say sorry for being away for so long. For leaving her all alone. <laughs> <sighs> oh, honey, believe me, I know exactly how you feel. Fear not, friend. Your mother will get her flowers. Dave and I will make sure of that. All you need to do is tell us where we can find these beastly boys. Oh, well, if you're sure. There are two merchants, brothers, who run establishments in the southern part of town. I've heard that the beastly boys have been hanging around causing trouble at the older one's stall. A stall in the south of town, huh? All right, we'll be back before you know it. Dave, darling, let's roll. Okay, stall in the south of town. W wait. Look, I appreciate you trying to help me, but these are real thugs we're talking about here. And no offense, but you're just an entertainer, right? I wouldn't want you getting hurt. 
Oh, don't you worry about me, sweetie. I'm more than just a pretty face, you know? Okay, let's go to the stall in the south of town. Okay, I hope my... <laughs> we don't really use Zilvando a lot, but I hope our items are okay. 19. I don't have any items. Yeah, I wanted I wanted to get that pink thing. Pink skill. But, yeah, we didn't level up. South. This one? Is on the west side. This one? No, no, west side, you said west side. This one. Oh, we're gonna Get fight him, them boys. now. Watch yourself. At least we have a team uh, teammate with us. Spell. Yeah, we got a lot of spells here. Drop kick. Leave it to me. Hot stuff coming through. <laughs> oh, nice. They're shocked. Yeah, they're not that strong. Thank God. Easy. Score one for the good guys. Now, if you don't mind. What we gonna do with this horrible lot then, Sylv? Well, beastly they may be, but. They're not exactly the dangerous thugs we heard about. They can barely swing a sword. What's your story, boys, huh? We didn't start out as criminals. We were fishermen. And very happy fishermen at that. But after Yggdrasil fell, we couldn't take the boats out anymore. Have you seen the sea lately? It's swarming with monsters. Things were just impossible. Most days, we barely had anything to eat. The world might as well have ended that day. We lost our families. We lost everything. And no one came to help us. So we had to choose between a life of crime or starving to death. And that's no choice at all. Watch closely, darlings. This is just an ordinary steel pike, yes? Mm -hmm. Think again. <laughs> From arms to mmms. Who's for fresh bread, huh? <gasps> bon appetit, beastly boys. Eat your fill and forget your wicked ways. You'll be beaming again before you know it. Just someone who likes to see people smile. <laughs> They're good guys now, I suppose. <laughs> okay, let's uh, give Tetsu 
uh, stuff back. Still in one piece. Now I can go home to my mother with my head held high. Thank you, Mr. Silvando. Oh, here. It's not much, but I want you to have these. Oh, Tetsu, darling. Whatever they are, I'm sure they're wonderful. <laughs> You're such a sweetie. Honestly, you deserve much more. Come and visit me in Hotto sometime. I'll be able to thank you properly. Now, I'd better be off. I'd tell you to be careful, but I've got a feeling you'll be just fine. Bye for now. <laughs> ta -da. Here, you all right, Sylv? Oh, I'm better than all right, darling. I found it. My purpose in life. My raison d'etre. You know how I've been so down in the dumps thinking about all the despair and suffering in the world? Well, if that's what's making me so unhappy, there's only one thing to do about it. Get out there and fix the problem. Help make people happy again. Just because I can't save the world with some grand heroic gesture, that doesn't mean I can't do it one smile at a time. That's my Sylv. I'm with you all the way. Hmm. We heard everything you just said. Huh? Them tea leaves from before. I hope they ain't spoiling for another fight. Didn't they learn a lesson first time round? Okay, what do they want? You have to let us come with you. You have to let us help people. Mm. We're done with our life of crime, thanks to you. You want to tag along? Hmm. Well, I hope you understand it won't be easy. I can't guarantee you'll get home in one piece. We don't care! Hmm. Well, in that case, welcome aboard, darlings. Yes! yes! We got new friends now, Silvando's merry band. Now, as luck would have it, I've got you all a welcome gift. Here, take one each now. Don't be greedy. <gasps> wow. <laughs> oh, they're simply <laughs> fabulous. Darlings, you look splendid. I don't get it, Sylv. What are they? They're the presents dear old Tetsu gave us. If we're going to be traveling around spreading happiness and laughter, we'll need to look the part, no? All right, we're all set. Let's get out there and bring some sunshine back into the world. <laughs> Silvando's super special smile spreading parade starts right here. Yeah! <laughs> Laguna. Okay, let's go. So, where do we need to head? Hoto. Okay, we need to go to Hoto. Why didn't we. Uh, what do you call this? Why didn't Tetsu join us then? Okay, uh, we're gonna head to Galopolis, I guess.
Look at the monsters now. Why did they have red eyes? <laughs> okay, up. I guess the monsters are much more dangerous now because the world tree has fallen, right? I think we've explored every area. And for this part, uh, what do you call this? After the, wor uh, the world tree fell, we're pretty much are probably just going to be going back. Wait, what? Okay, we're probably going to be going back to the same areas as well, but harder enemies, right? Yeah. Mostly like that. Cup of hot milk. Come from a talking cow. Yeah, the talking cow. There's a talking cow there. Yeah. <laughs> okay, we need to cheer the cow up. How do we do that? Talk to the priest here. Morning comes, but it's always dark now, right? Oh, he's going to join us. Yes. <laughs> Is he with us? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Look at this. What is he? The priest is carrying uh <laughs> Okay. Yeah, it looks like what do you call this again it's not an eclipse but yeah, it's kind of dark right darker than normal uh, light i guess we're gonna have to see the prince again right remember the prince the coward prince The great Silvando. Yes. Okay. Two more people. Okay. Want some advice to recruit? <laughs> Can we recruit this guy? He said south of Galopolis. What is it south in Galopolis? Okay, this monster. Yeah, this one. This is a big one. It was not here last time. It was way on the north. Now it's come down. Look, look at this. You can see the circus from here. Okay, south of Galopolis. Okay, there.
Por favor. Ok, help him. How many? One, two, six people? Wow! Very nice. Accelerate. Damage is insane. Lovely, jubbly. Uh, look, they have the same. Uh, what do you call this? Animated action scenes. Thank you very much, Mister. Muchas gracias. So this is a knight or a squire. Okay. Is he gonna be in our party as well? And I mean, oh, okay. So we can't choose now. We have too many. <laughs> Honestly, like this game is. What? How? How do I put this? Like, like different areas, right? A different kind of the way they talk. Like for example, you have like Italy on what was the place we were earlier? Yeah, right. And you have French, like the accents, French and the Academy last time. And then we, when we went to Sniffelheim, it was what do you call that? Scandinavian, right? It's so cool, like different the accents. I mean, the accents of the characters or the the NPC characters. No, I don't need this. Hmm. Is the people we got the one we need for the circus or? Like the other guy said, you need to recruit two people, right? Stables, racetrack. Invite him, yes. I can't help you right now. Okay. Fine bone structure, great posture, and these long fluttering eyelashes. Northwest. Is this her? This one. We barely know each other. He's obsessed with that horse. Why this? Oh, okay.
Margarita. A dollop of horse poop. <laughs> uh, wait, did he even join me yet? Okay. Let me talk to him again. Hey, he's not here anymore. So maybe he joined me already, right? I mean, there was no confirmation. We need to find another one. Or this guy. Red, yellow, or blue. Fire. Flames. The red ball. Got it. Thank you. Okay, who do I talk to? Ring ringmaster? This dude? Okay, are we gonna have a cutscene now? A very nice one. I Ladies hope. and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome one and all. I know it's a difficult time for all of us, but what better way to show off our indefatigable spirit than to fill the big top with joyful laughter and defiant exuberance. And believe me, that's what's going to happen. Because tonight, for one night only, for the first time since the glory days of the Gallipolitan Circus, the Wandering Wonder returns! Oh. <laughs> Welcome! <laughs> Welcome! Oh, hi! <laughs> hi! <laughs> ha! Ah, clap your hands, <laughs> stamp your feet, and get ready to smile like you've forgotten how to. I give you the great Silvando! Everybody, it's time to turn those frowns upside down. Prepare to be amazed! And hey, that was it? It didn't really show all of it, just a sneak peek. Well, Sylph, I've got to hand it to you. That was like nothing else this circus has ever seen. Thank you, from the bottom of my heart. Oh, darling, please. I just did a few party tricks, that's all. You're the real hero here. Keeping the show going in these dark times? No one else could have done that. Oh. <laughs> 
Well, you know me. I've always been a firm believer in the healing power of laughter. And heaven knows, these people need it now more than ever. I don't think I ever told you who taught me about that power, did I? I saw her when I was just a child. She was simply the most incredible performer. She led a parade of people out of a kingdom destroyed by monsters and onto a new home and a brighter future. And she kept them smiling from start to finish. <laughs> you can't imagine how inspirational it was for those of us who were lucky enough to wave them on their way. And then, when she'd taken them to safety, she disappeared just as suddenly as she'd arrived. We never saw her again. The rumors were that she died when she was still young. Such a tragedy. Still, they say she fell in love with a famous knight and they got married. So it seems she found some happiness before her untimely end. You remind me of her, you know. That look on her face as she proudly led those people out of danger, spreading joy and laughter wherever she went. Huh? Well, if I needed inspiration to keep the circus going, you've provided it in spades. The show must go on. These people need some light in their lives. Hmm. Did you hear that, darlings? It seems we've got a rival in the smile-spreading business. Well, we'll just have to work twice as hard. Uh, Mr. Silvando? Would you mind if we came with you? If this circus is going to stand any chance of keeping people laughing, it's going to need some performers who've learned from the best. Oh! Well, the more the merrier, of course. But I think we should see what the ringmaster has to say, don't you? Hmm. Hmm. Oh, you boys go with Sylv. Learn all you can from him, eh? I'll be expecting big things from you when you get back. Take good care of them, won't you? They're good lads, I promise. Life in the happiness restoring trade isn't all fun and games, you know? I'm going to be training you hard, and I expect you to become nothing less than the very best in the business. Sir, sir yes, yes, sir! sir. Yeah! We got how many members now? We got a lot of members now. Are they still at my back though? Maybe outside. Okay. We finished this place, so let's go to Hoto. Are they still following me? One, two. Okay. Not all of them follows. The Hoto step. So I assume, uh, as I said earlier, that we will do like the different characters as well, right? Probably except the protagonist, yes. So uh, let's say like every one of them got separated, right? We're gonna do Eric, Jade, Veronica, Serena, and then Rab. It's nice, we get uh, sing, uh, an episode per character. Okay. The plant over there just turned up a while ago. The plant over there? What? Where are we? What do you mean, plant? This one. Ifrit.
Horse spoo. I got horse spoo here. Yes. Silvando's Merry Band. Yeah, we don't need to fight monsters, really. Like, it's pretty much the same monsters. They just have red eyes. Another one. Okay, what is this? Ah, let's change our party. I want the martial artist in. And I want the priest as well, so we have a healer, right? Oh, look at this. Wow. How do we change the lineup? What? Hiya! But yeah, it's nice it's nice seeing this. There's a lot of characters. Get in. <laughs> wow. There's a lot of people here. I don't know how to change the party though. Let's just go. Okay, and I see the enemy now. I think it's that that blue guy right there. Lot of people in the in the group. Nice. Okay. Uh, accelerate. I feel the need for speed. Oh my God, that hurts. Hundred fourteen. Now, now, not so hasty. Oh, my kick. Take this. <laughs> Let's go for a spin. Oh, he got confused. Dude, this guy, man, he's doing all the debuffs. That's nice. Slap. This I'm one. on fire. Oh, my kick. Nighty night. Ha ha. Oh, my 
Chop. Take this. Ah. Oh. Ah. Did he die? I'll give you one. No, no, I thought the the other guy died. Huh. Is that all you got? Yes. <laughs> okay. So this is the end, I guess, for his, uh, what do you call this? Story? Teddy Wetty Woo Bags! Silvando, you came! But of course I did! And who's this ravishing young thing, huh? I am his mother, and you must be Silvando. Gratitude is due. When the world tree fell, I thought my boy had been lost. I drowned in despair. But now he is home. My worries clear like the clouds, and all thanks to you. <laughs> oh. <laughs> cool. would you look at that? You really do perk people up wherever you go, eh, Sylv? A right little soldier of smile, you are. Hmm, soldier of smile. Ooh, I like it. All right, listen up, boys. <gasps> we all know what a dark place the world is these days. But if there's one thing I've learned by helping people like Tetsu here, it's the power of the smile. No matter how bad things get, no matter how much you cry or how powerless you feel, a single grin can bring hope for a better tomorrow. There's nothing this world needs more than happy faces right now. So that's just what we're going to give it. Yay! You're so right, Sylv. We're with you all the way. Oi! Who said you could start calling him plain old Sylvie, you cheeky toe rag? Oh, I get it. We can't go spreading smiles if we're mistering and surring left and right, eh? Fair enough. Sylve yourself, silly boys. Great idea, boss. Sylve it is. I'm with you all the way too, Sylve. Let's get out there and save the world! Yeah! I mean, yay! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> oh, boys, you don't know how much this means to me. This parade's gonna change everything. I just know it. From this day forth, you shall journey across the land, vanquishing the blight of despair with the righteous power of happiness. I hereby dub you... <gasps> the Soldiers of Smile! Hmm! <laughs> 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 uh, what the hell is happening, man? <laughs> yeah. Look at the priest! <laughs> if it please you, sir, my son would like to join you in spreading sunlight. All right, boys. Me and my mum have made a little something that's going to knock your socks off. I 
told you I'd thank you properly if you came to visit. Now you can travel the world in style. Oh, <gasps> wow. <laughs> We've made something for you too, Sylv, to say thanks, you know. Close your eyes. <gasps> oh. oh my, I love it. Thank you so much, my special little soldiers. Here, let's say that sniveling you. There's people out there need our help in case you've forgotten. Hmm. <gasps> oh. Look out, world! I know you're still out there, all of you. We'll meet again soon. I just know it. And until then, I'll be doing my best to make the world a better place. Ah, oh, okay. It's over. Ah, uh, so Vando's basically story a little bit, yes, right? It's over. It's pretty nice. Like, it has voice acted scenes, so it's very nice. Very, uh, good. And positivity. Yes, that's pretty good. And times of this, and times like this, that the world tree has fallen. And we got a, a new costume as well, right? Yeah, it changed the costume. Uh, the color scheme changed a little bit. Okay, so we're just going to continue this in the next episode. I wonder who's going to be the next character, right? Hmm, I wonder. Okay, so I'll just see you then, guys. Bye-bye.